Welcome to Akamite Cloud Computing video series. And today, Philippe and I will talk about the difference between PaaS, IaaS, and SaaS uh, cloud options. Over to Philippe. Thanks, Jana. Hi, everyone. I'm Philippe, I'm managing consult with Fastlane Solutions. We are a certified Akamai technology partner. So today we're going to talk about this cloud service models um, and how they relate to ownership. But before I go into the details on the nitty gritty of tech, Jana, when you see this image, what comes to your mind in each of these services? So obviously I can see various transportation options here. Um, they all get you from point A to point B, but each comes with its own set of considerations. Uh, for example, when you own your own car, you enjoy full control, but you're also responsible for maintenance, refueling, annual registration costs, regardless of how frequently you use your car. And over time it become a bit outdated and upgrading requires purchasing a new vehicle most of the times. Um, when you're leasing a car, then it provides you, you know, still provides you flexibility in terms of where you can drive. Um, and you still need to cover fuel expenses. However, you don't need to pay registration fees and you have a freedom of return or exchange the vehicle at your convenience. Uh, obviously, we have a taxi option that give you like hassle-free journey from A to B. And you also relieved from refueling, registrations, maintenance concerns, and you also don't need to drive. Um, and lastly, there is a bus which does, again, transport you from point A to point B, but it follows a really defined road and schedule as well. So it can be quite crowded on the bus and requesting a stop right next at your doorsteps isn't always feasible unless there is an already designated bus stop nearby. So, Philippa, am I getting the concept right? Yes, you are. I mean, it sounds great. So now let's look at what that means in terms of IT infrastructure. So I think what Jana was saying, you, you see a lot of benefits between owning as opposed to basically having flexibility, right? So when you own, you can do, say, for example, your car, you could customize and things like that. Uh, when you don't own it, you have less flexibility, but you still have the freedom. Right. So in this next slide, what we're seeing here is a few examples of on premise, uh, and then infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Right. So in, basically here, what we will see is that the ownership goes from you owning er everything to not only pretty much anything apart from, of course, uh, basically your, your data, if you're using some SaaS application. Right. Uh, so and that that's compared exactly to the car example. So as in, in the past one, as compared to a taxi, uh, your runtime basically saying that the platform is running and it's doing what it's supposed to do means your taxi driver is taking to you to your point of destination, right? So, like I said, this comes with some benefits, but also if you need customization, then you could move closer to on site or, or have more ownership. So it's always a balance. And it's important to say that in some cases you might want to use hybrid. So you might want something you might use SaaS, you might use PaaS, and you might use as and even on prem at the same time. So I think that's cover what I want in terms of technical aspects. Um, Jana, up to you. Thank you, Philippe. Now I believe everyone has a better understanding of the difference between cloud service models. And in upcoming videos, we'll delve deeper into each of these models and provide you more details. And if you'd like to explore Akamite cloud computing features firsthand, please use the link below to register and receive a $100 cloud credit to begin your exploration. Thank you, everyone. And we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.